Okay, so here I am. I'm about to uh, <clears throat> install some maple spiles, which are, here's one of them, shown right here. I'm going to install this into one of my um, silver maple trees that's on my property. Um, I'm going to use a drill with a, what is this, 3 8 or inch bit, and uh, use it, I'm going to we're going to take the, bit, the drill bit and we put it onto an angle that's facing upwards and we drill into the tree. So let's get that going. So there's the hole, and we're going to hammer one of these maple spiles. So notice how it has a hook on it on the bottom from which we'll hang this bucket. It's just waiting for me. And the aluminum foil is so I can make a makeshift cover since I don't have a proper cover for my bucket. That's to keep the rain, water, and snow from getting in. I'm going to use a leatherhead hammer, hammer this guy in, okay, nice and secure, then we take the bucket, hang it from there, Oops. please excuse my bad filmmaking, and I'll have to put this down to uh, put some Reynolds wrap over it. <clears throat> I'll just bear with me. Okay, so I'm sure you heard, heard all the rattling. It's wrapped around the edges pretty well. Has a pretty decent seal. And hopefully we'll start getting some maple syrup. And from my understanding, the best time to start tapping your maple trees is, is when the, uh, the day times are warm, above freezing, and the night times are freezing. And that causes some sort of pumping action inside the tree that allows the sap to flow up and then to flow down through the maple spile into the bucket. And in order to cook, in order to, um, to make maple syrup from this, you have to boil the maple syrup down for a very long period of time. It's about a 40 to one ratio in terms of uh, sugar content. And um, we'll do some more filming of when we actually uh, start boiling it away over the fire outside. So, till next time, later.